Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about remotely accessing your computer from the internet or a network. So basically, if you're trying to access your computer from work or school or college or whatever, you can do it through remote access. This can be another way to uh, go on games or something while you're at college or school or whatever, or access um, MSN Messenger or anything. All you need to do is connect to your home computer, leave your computer on at home, and then you can um, control your computer from college, school, work as if you are sitting in front of it using the keyboard and mouse. So there's various ways you can do this. Uh, NetMeeting is included with Windows XP and below. I think it's been superseded in Windows Vista by Meeting Space or something like that. But for anyone who uses XP and below, all you have to do is go start, run, type in conf and as you can see it loads up net meeting and then you type the address you want to call but then the other person actually has to answer this call um, once it's done you can share webcam and sound and then share things like your desktop here so you say desktop share then people can control it uh, only does one person so you can find someone in a directory this is very old this has been used since like Windows 95 or something like that but um, it's reliable all the same, so you can do this over a network, and I think you can do it over the internet. You just need the other person to type in their IP address. Also, if you have things like MSN Messenger, like this, um, you can get... Uh, it also has this functionality to be able to use it with Windows XP users. Um, you just uh, go into the menu, and you say something like uh, actions and then you see request remote assistance you can you, you can send them a remote remote assistance request and then again it will show up on their screen or your screen of their ones um, basically showing the desktop so you can see what they're doing and then you can control it so that's one remote desktop connection I think you have to type MSTSC into the run box and you'll come up with a remote desktop connection this is usually used for people to access computers on a network, so like a work network or something. You just type in the name of computer or the server or whatever and then press connect and then it will um, ask you to log in with your details on that computer and then you can log in as if you logged in on your own computer and then it will show you the desktop and all that. So that is remote desktop connection. Now type VNC is something that you can have running, you can have a server running in your taskbar. I'm not going to drag my mouse over the the little V because it will show my IP address which I really don't want to disclose so what you can have it do is have it run itself um, so every time you connect to it it will ask for a password and then it will view your whole desktop and then you can control the keyboard and mouse or you can have it running as a web server sort of thing so you can connect to it over the internet again so I've tried to connect to my own PC I had to take the uh, the IP address because you have to type the IP address of your computer in and then a port number if I can drag over this quickly there you go say properties I've got it defined at port 13800 for HTTP and I've done a password here so um, you type IP address and then put a colon so you say 12.34.56.78 and then a colon and then 13800 and it'll connect but as you can see uh, it won't allow me to connect to myself so error loopback connection is connections are disabled. So uh, this is what type VNC looks like when it's connected. So you see server and then the port there and it, it just says disconnect options clipboard send alt control delete refresh and this is what it looks like it's just inside Internet Explorer. Um, I'm afraid I can't show you most of these actually working because I don't have a computer to connect to I've just got my own desktop so um, just showing you pictures really of what you can do with each one. Uh, next one is log me in. Now, I highly recommend this. Um, I use it to connect to my computer from college. Um, log me in enabled and online. So all you do is go to the logmein.com website and then um, you sign up to their website and choose log me in free. And then you'll notice that you'll have this page here where it has your account. It shows you your computers. Um, I've got two connected. Uh, that one I'm not going to connect to because that's a mate of mine. So um, this is mine. Uh, all you do is do add computer. Uh, in the in the box and then just say log me in free I think log me in pro and reach and all those can actually like analyze things like your system tasks task manager and access files on your computer and things like that so on the computer you want to control you just say 
um, download it and oh, it's all frozen up now because it then starts to download I won't show you that um, and it looks like this so this is what it looks like it will, it will do a load of icons when you go to log in from the server when you you saw my list of computers this is what happens when you click it and you say remote control it'll go one two three four five say connected and then you'll see your web, your um, desktop and it also leaves a box on the user's desktop the actual person that you're controlling saying that you, it's being controlled by and then it says who you are so that's another useful thing and go to meeting is one where if you'd like to see uh, you can download this uh, I think you install it I'm not sure if it's, it, it should have a thing down here again for the um, in the status bar saying it will it will view your desktop basically go to me is ideal for people who want to view multiple people's desktops if you understand what I mean um, I mean sort of if you have a conference and you need to see multiple users desktops uh, this is what you will require and then you can switch easily between each person's desktop you know, it will have a list and you, you can scroll through them so you see where it says in small writing there now viewing something John Vista screen control by Papa John so you can control it some people can control other people's desktops easy to scroll through them so these are various ways you can connect through remote access to your computer via the internet or over a network so uh, thanks for watching my video if I've missed anything out something important then please leave a comment uh, these are the ways I know of doing it if there's another way you can access your computer by over the internet using your keyboard and mouse as their keyboard and mouse then please let me know uh, leave a comment and please rate and subscribe. Thanks for watching.